Hello everyone, Jekyll here. It's been a while since I've done one of those videos, especially since I've been taking a lot of OT at work and just being that tired. Additionally, when this video goes up, I'll be in London, taking a tour around the city, checking stuff and doing final preps before the YCS. Anyway, that's beside the point. The point of today's video is going to be a top 5 list of Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes that are waiting the longest for any sort of support. If you want me to do a similar list for Yu-Gi-Oh card series, just like, comment and subscribe. The channel is very close to 1k subs and I have a project planned for that occasion. Every sub gets us closer to the goal. Anyway, let's get on to the list. At the bottom of this list, there's an archetype not too many people remember. And to be perfectly honest, I don't blame anyone. Premiering in the Crossroads of Chaos all the way back in November 2008, and used by a single one-off character in 5Ds, the Iron Chain archetype finds itself in the fifth place on this list, with 14 years, 4 months, and 13 days since their last support. I really think it's time for Konami to unchain some new support since this iron is really cold. Number four. Next we have, in my opinion, the most popular archetype on this list. Introduced in the Light of Destruction all the way in May 2008, the weapon of the GX villain Sartorius, the Arcana Force. The archetype hasn't seen any new support since its original release, and it's been a long time. 14 years, 10 months and 20 days to be precise. That just shows that there's a need for an update, or at least some sort of support for our favorite coin flipping pals. Or at least a new version of... Another GX archetype, which for some reason has its card being meta relevant and even limited at some point, the Dark Scorpions really need a revamp. Because let's face it, burglars that haven't updated their arsenal in 15 years, 3 months and 21 days can't be successful. It's just not possible. And I think they should get their act together and steal our hearts with some new support. You know we're scraping the bottom of the barrel when we're talking about the Lure Queen, a sub-archetype of the level archetype. All you need to know is that it was released in November 2006 in Cyber Dark Impact, therefore you know it's bad. With three level monsters in the archetype and being supported by one other monster, this royalty really needs a redo. And it's 16 years, 4 months and 16 days late for one. As things are now, the monarchy isn't going to stand in power for long. Viva la resistance! And finally, we're at the very top, the archetype that is waiting the longest for any support. Longer than any volcanic. And it's Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, which is another subset of level archetype with one single monster support. I think there might be a pattern here. With the last line of support being released in Soul of the Duelist, it means it's been 18 years, 11 months and 30 days since then. It's longer than some of you have been alive and if that doesn't mean something that I don't know what does. I think that the flames of this archetype have to be sparked up again so it can reach out for the sun. And that's it for this last. I hope you guys enjoyed this little endeavor and if you did remember to like, comment and subscribe. If this video reaches 20 likes, I will make another top list but about the series that are waiting the longest. Anyway, this has been Jacolo. I'm signing out and I will wonder if anyone finds me at YCS London, peace out.